I, I personally like the phrase engaged learning. And I like it because it's open, but it's also a verb. And doing learning is what we want to model for our students. And one of the great things about teaching theater is that uh, although the plays are based in a text, the activity of doing theater is an active one. And in fact, we go so far as to embody the ideas of playwrights. You know, playwrights make up characters and write what they say, but we have to fill in everything else. We have to fill in how, those char how that character breathes, how they stand, what their gestures are like. Um, what the costume's like, how, how they stand, how they re interact with other characters. And I can think of no more engaging of an activity than to literally embody an idea. There, there wouldn't be these conflicts if they didn't actually care what each other thinks about each other. Like, th that's why they're there. I firmly believe that studying theater in a liberal arts context is the right place to study theater. I believe that for a lot of reasons, not the least of which, as we discover the depth and variety of subject and topic in theater, we need all the allies we can gather to understand it fully. And in a liberal arts context, you're expected to bring the other areas of study with you. And for that, that those that process of discovery to be continuous. Having a foundational experience in theater making and theater appreciation in an environment that isn't closed off to theater, that isn't just about the theater making. The theater making is really important and that's what we want people to do, but we want them to feel like the theater making we're doing is in service of a larger, broader understanding. If they don't ultimately become a theater maker, which is okay too, <laughs> um, that the theater will still be special to them and that they'll still want to continue to go to the theater or to contribute in some way. So we've had theater majors who've gone off to law school and become lawyers and then they become board members at theaters in the cities that they live in. So they're continuing to contribute. They're continuing to be part of the storytelling that's so essential in our culture. That's why I think a place like Lawrence is the best place to study and teach theater. We have a long tradition of it here at Lawrence. It's a very special tradition. Our department was founded in 1930, and that's really old. That's, that's, that's an, we were early adopters in giving a theater department its own space and curriculum. When you're a theater professor for college students, some of them go on into the profession. And, um, when they perform on particular stages or, or get hired by and, and perform with particular companies or in particular production contexts, it can be very satisfying. Watching a former student of mine make her debut at the Metropolitan Opera is a joy that only a teacher can know. Because you, you, you couldn't know at the time that they were your student that they would that that would happen. But sometimes you know that there's something particular, that there's a potential, that there's a, uh, a level of understanding that the student themselves can't even articulate because they don't, they're just discovering it. And sometimes you see it before they can see it. It's all